Hello and welcome to the Wilhelm Starten. Tonight we are playing Final Fantasy 16. We're going to be taking a break from Horizon Forbidden West since, well, uh, mild spoilers, a lot changes after the next story mission. Likewise, we're going to push up to a similar point in uh, Final Fantasy 16 before shifting focus over to Insomniac's Spider-Man. Still haven't taken care of the City That Never Sleeps DLC or Miles Morales, and I just pre-ordered Spider-Man 2, so I want to have everything up to speed in advance of release come October. So, let's head for East Pool. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Oh. It seemed a very different place back then. Oh. Vivi, you've, um, you've clearly seen better days. Huh. Well, pull one out for our good buddy Vivi. Oh, a dragonfly. I like dragonflies. Cat, can you stop messing with your water dish? If you spill that, we're gonna have a problem. I like dragonflies. Up now. They're my Monster. favorite. They're my favorite insect because they eat my least favorite insect. Actually, my least favorite animal. Period. The mosquito. No, like seriously. If, like seriously, uh, gun to my head, a species I wouldn't mind wiping off the planet. The mosquito. Even though that means that bats would have one fewer thing to snack on. Sorry, Ravu. <laughs> Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield! Sorry, good. This forgot to do this before startup. Once again, good old starting brand scuff. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. You simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. Oh. 
It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't... Mean ...to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime.
stay in Dalmechia. I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <sighs> we should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate.
Let's go. Salad. Safe travels. Y you? Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to East Poland. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to... Archduke Elwyn, I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. It's fine. 
finer man as my father. And you're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. for you I'm looking for a bearer an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields have you seen him ah that old loon no no sign of him today funny he's usually down by the well at this hour cooking up his fantasy feasts I'm sorry oh he worked in the kitchens at Rosales Castle back in the day still thinks he's there now <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the puff to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well, then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. <sighs> oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day. Almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Oh, hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For... making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. How's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... 
And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. someone over there it might be him we should hurry company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed <laughs> Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace! You came for me! I waited for you so long, but you finally came! I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you... Wait for me in Eastpool. Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day.
Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stay... Okay, I don't even know how, how long I left the microphone muted. And now I feel stupid. So, uh, so I'm probably going to end up repeating a lot of the stuff that I already said. We would long since like about starved. Clive's mom being worse we than a bitch. We keep the bearers safe here. We really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Yep. There we Thank go. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Oh yeah, quest complete. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. Yep. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Yep. Dead plants just fluttering in the wind, just barely holding on, basically. Reducing the land to a barren wasteland. That's why they call them the Deadlands. this another relic of the fallen hmm. have to come back for that later we won't be able to use any magic here another thing to worry about as if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems take away the lad's life force and problems are all that's left Jeez. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. 
Well, I can, I can say one thing that was absolutely different. Not as many falling tree branches, I'm sure. Jeez. There we go. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Yeah. Of course, as is my standard practice before starting an action stage. something yeah like they, they they probably see one of the neighbor's cats it's almost as if time had stood still I suppose no one had any cause to return here just as I left it. This one's gonna be fucking charged at the end. It's gonna get real fucking. Mm. Could I have done this? Could anyone? Jeez. Hell, if that's the spot I think it is, um, then clearly the some of those spots at the bottom, the ground melted back uh, behind them. Yeesh. So, uh, yeah. Would you stop scooting your? You stop scooting your bowl, kitty, kitty. You're gonna make a mess. And this. Oof. <sighs> Tough break, Clive. What is it talking about? Oh, crap. You can tell me what happened. I have to know. Hmm. Make me 
making sure there's no chests along the way that I missed. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Oh, they should lead us here specifically. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... To convene with their ancestors, yes. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Mm. Are you sure about this? Never more. Well, there's a dramatic door close if I ever saw one. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. call it a ruin it's perfect like it was built yesterday and that is why only the dominant can enter by the way see those little those little streaks or rather that's one of the reasons why it's good that only the dominant of uh, uh, that only a dominant can enter You'll you'll learn more about what those streaks are uh, within the next episode or two. Have you ever seen anything like that? But this? just suffice to say that it's it's it, the air is rich with ether here. Back to this place's security system, figures.
trouble. Don't let them get away. That's enough. Give them all you've got, boys. This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Let's see, are there any chests or anything around here? No. Okay, hold on, I think one of the dogs just jumped on my mom. I'll be right back. fine for now, but geez. Why it even bothers to show uh, hand icons? Since you open it by kicking it, it should just show a foot. Just saying. Gotcha. None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. 
I mean, yeah, I, I can understand why uh, this kind of tech would be completely bewildering, given the uh, given how everything else there is so low tech. That when these things that when some of these things die, they leave behind a core that then disintegrates after them. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Again, where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. Fallen death machine. 
Oh, come on. That was cool. Check the forecast quick. Mm. All right. So it's looking like it's looking like that thunderstorm has been averted, so that's good. averted so much as conditions have shifted. Oh, here we go. Another cutscene. Huh? Oh, boy. I don't like this. Oh. Iron Giant. <laughs> Seems the feeling's mutual. These things are are usually an absolute treat to fight. Wake wins.
Ow. Boom. Gotcha, punk. Night, night. It's done. The machining on that thing is pretty sick, not gonna lie. Are these creatures. And why do they keep attacking us? Especially on the sword. That is nice. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Well, that's quite the interesting mural, to say the very least. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Seriously, if y'all will, it will allow me a moment to just. So yeah, the machine three prongs, so it can be used as a stabbing weapon. The cuffs on the gauntlets probably help to, like the bell, uh, probably helps to protect the joint section a little bit. Obviously, there's some stylization because I mean, come on, it's a Square Enix game. It's got to be stylized. But, like overall, it, it seems like it's a pretty, a pretty functional design. As far as as far as killing machines are concerned, this thing is very well made. Plus, again, it's an iron giant. And from my experience, Final Fantasy games that tend to have really, uh, like, anytime one of these things shows up, it's, you're in for a treat. Okay, I, I forget whether or not the paths here are any different from each other. No, no, they're not exactly the same. In which case, they probably could have done just as well. One, but then again, those of you that watched uh, my earlier streams of this, well, you might recognize this place. And yes, it is exactly the same. This is at Phoenix Gate, after all. And here we go. Another mini boss. Then. 
Of course. Damn it. Ugh, jump the gun. Gotcha. Oh yeah. This place holds even more secrets than we thought. Jeez. That is freaking massive. Whew. Can't even imagine what it's made from. Obviously, it's some kind of worked stone, but it is crazy. And of course, because it's a Square Enix game, it's, again, the the detailing has to be over designed. Did something. Kind of want to save up here. Go. The 
fact that they're able, that they're able to make all of this from what, uh, from what again, at least presents as stone. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. I mean, seriously, all this, all this filigree, the way that it, you know, weaves in and out of itself over and under, that is, that is absolutely beautiful. And again, the fact the material they made it with at least appears to be stone just makes it all the more impressive. goes. It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. Oh boy. That pattern up top. The, the arrangement of those crystals. Oh boy. Do you have you beat in the game yet? Uh, on my personal save, almost. Still wrapping up some side quests before I take on the very definitely final dungeon. I I figure, consider considering how personal some of the side quests Same. towards the end are, I figured I'd I'd take certain ones on one at a time instead of multitasking. But. But, how are you doing today, White Ops? And, uh, once again, thanks for the other night, because, wow, um, you might have just single-handedly paid for my copy of uh, Persona 5 Tactica. Which means, assuming that Black Cat is in Spider-Man 2, I get double the Lind back. So thanks for that. But anyway, then there's this um, loaded boss fight. Here we go. Yes. More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Here goes. to see you still streaming all right well thanks for stopping by appreciate it good night Dropping a gift, too. Oh, cool. He gave Lime Shark, he gave Lime Shark a tier one sub. Thanks, White Ops.
Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Clive. Jeez. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Well, so much for getting the 
Ground. There we go. Boom. Oh, ow. 
from you.
truth in it now. You are not afraid. I am. That track, that track is called Find the Flame, and it's, and in development it was essentially seen as Clive's theme. <sighs> Fire Shard. The power of the icon Ifrit made manifest. This shard of crystal is hot to the touch and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. Used in crafting. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. Hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? 
And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find if Sid heard you quoting him, he'd laugh his ass off. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't Not want to be that person anymore. The things she did they were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. In short, you have changed, but. Thank you, Jill. Not much in the ways that matter. You're right where you need to be. If he is here, then. Insert Roxas jokes be. here. Confound it. The hour is later than I thought. Oh boy. So I've got a I've got a classic movie reference for you coming up. said he said Sid paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is I'll crush him Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to hell. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! I know what you're thinking. What's in the box? And yes, you would be correct. Yeesh. Even in death, she can't get any peace. Jeez. Even in death, she can't get any peace. Benedict. Life. Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as Ignition, a fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the Limit Break gauge. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the abilities tab in the main menu. Limit Break. The Limit Break gauge is located beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime into Ifrit by pressing L3 and R3 when this gauge is full. The gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. 
Semi-priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard breaking strikes. So, what next? We return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right. We should arrange an introduction then. But we will do that next time here at the Wilhelm Starten. But for now, we're going to raid. Uh, good, good. It looks like they're still on. Raid channel. Yellowmoth VT is playing Paradise Killer right now with Velix, so so we're gonna pay them a visit. But until next time, this is the Wilhelm Starting, raiding and signing off. Don't touch that dial. <laughs>